Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video of our city zoo. And in this episode, we're going to build an exhibit for the Chinese pangolin. I'm very sorry that this video is up a little bit later than planned. I really wanted to do a little bit more detailing before I uh, could put it up. So I, I want to do it right. So that's why it took a little bit longer. So I'm sorry for that. I am a little bit busy the next coming week or two weeks. So I'm probably going to take one week off from uploading. But don't worry too much because we will be back like on a very normal and, and regular schedule again in August. So really don't worry too much about that. It's only the coming week that it will be less videos and the week after I'm probably going to take one week of a break and then we're going uh, full speed again. So hopefully you guys will like that. So we're going to build a small exhibit for the Chinese pangolin and in this case, and I don't think we ever did this before like this, we're going to build a very small indoor habitat. Now I'm working right now on some kind of round building. Now I do have to say this building you see right now is not going to stay. I only use the walls later to create some kind of smaller round building because it was just too big and I first I thought maybe to keep the flat roof but I just really didn't like it so in the end we went back to Mayland Zoo to see what I did with the flamingos and the roof I had there with like that middle round platform so in the end I used that for the rooftop of this round building and I think that looks way better and more of the Asian style instead of like the flat roof so yeah, it might look a little bit weird because it looks like I'm, I'm finishing a building and then I'm, I'm breaking it down again. So yeah, I wasted a lot of time on the building itself. But in the end, it's really cool because of the round building, they can look inside of the habitat. And then they also have a section where the guests can go inside and also see the Chinese pangolin from an indoor section. About, but the Chinese pangolin overall is like indoor completely in this case. So I thought that's just a nice little variation comparing to all the other habitats we do. And I'm calling it more of an exhibit because it's like completely indoor for a change. So I also wanted to keep it like very dense, very heavily themed with a lot of uh, trees and plants and bushes to really get a feeling more of an exhibit what the guests need to explore and try to find where the Chinese pangolins are. Obviously, I couldn't go too crazy because else it would have hurt the traversable area too much of the Chinese pangolin. But yeah, I think it's uh, it looks really nice and especially because the Chinese pangolin can live in a very small area because it's a very small creature I think this is looking really cool for a change in this area so except for like having an indoor section and an outdoor section like we very often do with a lot of habitats we build so as I also sat with the orangutan habitat I really wanted to play around more with like the green mossy rocks so I really tried to play around with the green mossy rocks in this habitat to create a really beautiful and vibrant texture on the floorings and also with the rocks that are a little bit raised. And what is quite surprising actually is that the Chinese pangolin is really good at climbing or not really climbing but I mean like if you have different height elevations and stuff the traversable area of the Chinese pangolin is really well so that is really fun to play around with that a little bit it's, it's like a little bit of the feeling of the doll sheep they are like really good jumpers so they are really able to um, jump from one rock to the other rock now as I said like the Chinese pangolin can't really jump but it really feels super cool to see them uh, being able to still move around in this small exhibit we're building for them. So I did a lot of this on stream. For those who don't know, I tried to stream three to four times a week on Twitch. So you can find a link in the description if you're not following me there yet. So we're the start of this video is basically all done during a live stream. And someone during that live stream told me that the Chinese pangolin really loves water. Uh, I'm not really sure how much they love water in Planet Zoo. I'm not really sure, again, if she said like they are really good swimmers but at least they really like water so that made me think like okay we need to add some kind of water section actually 
for the Chinese pangolins. Now, because of the exhibit that is really, really tiny, I uh, it was really hard to even add just a little tiny bit of water. I, I was able to add like a really, really small layer of water so they are able to drink there. But the rest, I basically used a view of access of the waterfalls and stuff to create the feeling that there is more water in the exhibit. But the good thing about that is that the Chinese pangolin is also just really easily able to walk everywhere. So so it will not be hurting their traversable area maybe. So that is definitely really nice. And I also added a little cave shelter in a little corner, even though actually the whole habitat or exhibit is a big shelter on its own, but still I wanted to have a little area. And I also added a little heater in there. So yeah, for like winter times or anything, that would be like the warmest spot in the exhibit for the Chinese pangolin to take some rest. And obviously when you put down some hay, they will be still going after, uh, they will still go and lay down on the hay bedding. So that is really nice. Now I did add a few of the cherry blossom trees in the habitat, uh, including some vines. Obviously, as I said, like the Chinese pangolin is not able to climb trees or anything. So they are more in here for a decorational purpose. But that is just the same as anything else. Like if they would be in a forest or anything where they would live in real life, they would also be walking around trees and stuff, even though they would be able would not be able to climb them. So that is really decorational purpose that I added some vines and stuff. I also added a lot of vines on the walls and I actually at some point was like, oh my God, I really need to use some of the bamboo. And I ended up with the green bamboo, which I never really used for a back of a wall, like the backside of the habitat. But I think it looks really cool. It really gets a vibe that we haven't really got so far in wholesale. City Zoo, so I really like that and you obviously don't really notice it from the outside like obviously when the people look inside but not like if you have a top viewing so it's really just a nice small little building with a different type of vibe going on inside of it and I just really love how everything has turned out so the building is now very plain on the outside it add a few bamboo and some flowers and stuff but in front of it there will be a big area well, not super big, but there will be an area with like some kind of Asian garden. So I'm really going to try to create some kind of Asian garden. So hopefully that will look really nice. Maybe also a small little pond or anything. So there will be a nice viewing area from the outside uh, towards the building. And I think that's going to look really cool in a later stage. So yeah, but I didn't do anything yet around the building. But yeah, I'm just in general really happy with how this one has turned out. I really wish that we would have more animals uh, like the size of the Chinese pangolin because they really only need like 140 square meters or something like that. So it would be really cool if we would have some more smaller animals so we can use more of these type of own build exhibits because I don't know, it's really a lot of fun. Like you really go into this more smaller details for a change and it's just a lot of fun to play around with this. So yeah, I uh, I really hope in the future we can see some more small little animals that we can uh, do this more often. I really would love to uh, love to do that. So yeah, I'm really curious what you guys obviously think of this Chinese pangolin exhibit. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Now the question is, what kind of animal we are going to add next? And I'm actually thinking to add the white Bengal tiger uh, somewhere a little bit further away from the orangutans and the Chinese pangolin. I think, I think it's just time to build something cool for them. But if you guys have any other suggestions, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And one more thing before we go, just to inform you guys, uh, it's right now halfway July. Uh, so if you're watching this later, this might not be a thing for you anymore. But Koali Zoo, we are going to have a little break and we hope to be back with Koali Zoo when a new Planet Zoo DLC will drop. That might even be in a week or two, but that could also be in a few weeks. We have no idea. But uh, yeah, we really felt like we, we just have to take a break for it. So if you're waiting for Koali Zoo, there's no episode for Koali Zoo coming up until we have a new DLC for Planet Zoo. So just so you know. So anyways, do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this Chinese pangolin exhibit. 
Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FayFam member with the link down in the description. And thank you all so much who are now a FayFam member, really appreciate your support. Thank you guys so so much for that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!